Hey everyone, welcome to CG Route. This time I will discuss briefly about Project Gepito from Autodesk Labs, which is a sort of crowd simulation software for 3ds Max. The project is still under development and has its limitations, but still it's very useful. Let me show you an example done with Project Gepito under 3ds Max. So here it is. So you can see there are pedestrians wandering here and there some people are idle and uh, these are the locations uh, which we are going to define in 3ds max and rest of the work will be done by the crowd simulation software project Gepito. so the only limitation right now is that we are not able to use textured people so right now project Gepito is useful only for npr renderings where you are not able to uh, use textured people in the crowd simulation but in the next version hopefully they will do something about it so let's open 3ds max so here i have a scene setup uh, let's consider these boxes buildings and this area is for uh, idle people so first of all just go to autodesk labs website or google autodesk labs project gepito and download project gepito software which is i think is only for 3ds max 2012 it is not available for releases prior to 3ds max 2012 but let's see so once you will install the software it will in the ribbon section so you will get right here in the ribbon so let's drop down it this is the ribbon for uh, project Gepito. before adding any crowd let me tell you one thing that you need to work on a pretty big scene you can see that this is my grid and this is my whole scene actually uh, the people you will uh, make there are pretty big so first of all let's create a crowd you will see this diamond shape helper object in the scene the only option is to change the radius so uh, this is not for any use so I will move it aside the next option is create flow so the create flow option is for making pathways there are two types with the help of which you can create crowd the one is create flow and the other is create idle areas so the create flow is used for making pedestrians and the create idle areas are used for making idle people so let's create our first pathway by creating create flow button and I'm going to make a crowd around this building so let's click and create a path right click to complete the operation now here is my first path you can see some helpers on which the crowd will be simulated and you can change it if you go to modify panel so you can see the options I will go to the vertex mode and you will change the vertex if you want and same like this edge you can change the whole edge to refine your paths you can increase the density so you can see that these helper objects are uh, getting higher in number you want males more males more females uh, too much females are not good so <laughs> I am let me make it in the middle and sample positions this is just like seeding or something like that so to simulate let's make it 100 frames and let me simulate my first crowd now it's generating characters Here is the crowd. Okay. Let me go to the smooth mode. Edge faces. I can also press F3. And here is my crowd. And if I play, you can see that these people are walking on their way. So let's make some other crowd. 
and for that let me go to the top viewport so let's create some more crowd like I will go for this so this is another path I will go to vertex mode and just make the correction like this I will add another flow like now here is the interesting part now you can see that our crowd is let me complete it okay now here is the interesting part you can see that our crowd is crossing the other crowd so project Gabito will take care for it the people on this crossing will never get merged with each other so let's see let me simulate it again Oops. okay I need to delete first of all this setup let me delete both <laughs> let's do it again okay create flow I will again add roughly a flow like this fine tune it like this and let's simulate it 400 frames it is generating more crowd for me okay crowd has been generated let me add another crowd I will go like this and I will fine-tune this crowd here now here is the interesting part you can see that two paths are now crossing each other so crowd will take care of it itself the people at this area will never collide with each other so let's simulate it again so you can see we are getting more and more people in our scene okay fine so let's create some idle people so there are three options we can define ourselves like for example if I'm going to make a crowd here I will just click and draw my custom area right click and you can see that I have created this area let me hide the floor okay let me hide the cylinder and floor for a second <laughs> okay the density is fine for me and let's simulate the ideal area so you can see where you have circles like this they are representing groups and where there are only small circles these are the singles so let's create a rectangle and same like circle you can draw a circle also let me make it like here and let's simulate it it will take a second and here is our crowd now these two options are for adding or subtracting to the area so first of all for example I have a circle here like this I'm going to decrease the density my computer is getting some tough time here so to increase the area just click the button and increase to the crowd so you can see that I have increased to the crowd like this 
you can subtract for example let me subtract this area from the whole area so you can see that uh, we are running out of crowd so let me increase the density and let's simulate again and you can see that our crowd is there so using project Gepito you can make hundreds and hundreds of people in your scene without any pain let me unhide my floor and maybe cylinder <laughs> let's render it now you can hide the areas which are representing the crowd by clicking this button and you can even hide your crowd by clicking the hide characters button so these are the two buttons for hiding or reveal your paths or your characters and the last but not the least when you're happy with your crowd you need to delete it <laughs> yes I'm right I'm not kidding just to save your disk space you need to delete your characters and once you want your crowd back just simulate it again so for example let me show you by saving the scene with the characters like save as on desktop Gipito with crowd now I will delete all the characters by clicking the delete button and I will save as it without crop now let's minimize and see the file size now the Gepito with crowd almost took 10 MB space in which there are also characters in there and this is the project which you can see that size is 112 KB so once you are satisfied with your crowd just delete the crowd and once you want your crowd back what you want is just simulate and all your characters will be back in a moment give max some time you can see all your characters are back so this is a little tip to save your disk space i hope you people like it and thanks for watching